Hello, drone friends. This is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning. Welcome to another week here in drone industry land. I've got three stories to share as usual, and I'm going to jump right in. Last week, Hurricane Ian wreaked havoc across western Cuba and the southeast United States. In the state of Florida, it's being reported as the deadliest storm since 1935, with over 100 deaths confirmed and tens of thousands of folks displaced from their homes. Several drone teams responded to the disaster, and I want to highlight some of those efforts. Verizon is providing cellular coverage, and they're doing so with a tethered drone that can provide coverage for an approximate five to seven mile radius and can fly for up to 1,000 hours. American drone manufacturer Skydio has set up a 24-7 emergency support line and is offering free advanced replacement of their drones and free access to their enterprise software for any of their customers uh, assisting in emergency response efforts. Additionally, Florida Power and Light has been using its FPL Air 1 drone to assess damage to its utilities infrastructure. AT&T has also deployed a drone team to various areas to assess damage and enable quick repairs. They may even leverage their cow drone to restore cell coverage to areas where lines are down, as they've done following past hurricane damage. And the Florida State University Center for Disaster Risk Policy drone team has also been helping with search and rescue efforts, providing accurate real-time data about conditions and helping to find hurricane victims in need of help. We hope you were all able to stay safe during the hurricane. The devastation that happened last week is truly unimaginable. It's great to see drones being able to assist where they can. Moving on to something lighter, check out this FPV tour of Wrigley Field in Chicago. It starts in the neighborhood outside the stadium, takes us through a bar and along a walkway, then swoops into the iconic ballpark itself before giving us a behind the scenes look at the Cubs clubhouse. The video was shot by Sky Candy Studios. We'll link to the full video below. The transition at two minutes and eight seconds is definitely one of the coolest surprises we've seen. So uh, uh, note that time, two minutes and eight seconds. Lastly, DJI just opened its new headquarters called DJI Sky City uh, in Shenzhen, China. The headquarters was designed by the award-winning architectural team of Foster Plus Partners and took six years to build. The two towers are going to house all of DJI's Shenzhen operations, uh, office research development areas. Uh, the buildings look as if they're floating in the air from a distance, and it's no surprise that DJI would go above and beyond to build such a standout structure. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest drone industry news. Remember to check out the links below to read or watch more. Thanks for watching. And as always, wishing all of you drone pilots out there blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you next week.